it's Memorial Day. It's Memorial Day, a time when we reflect on the sacrifice of others who have given to us uh, the freedoms that we enjoy in our country. And we'd like to especially focus on that uh, message this day. So our reading is going to be taken from Jeremiah chapter 29. We'll be looking at verses 11 to 14. I'm Pastor Richard Krause from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Glad to bring you the word of our Lord on this Memorial Day. Here we read from the prophet Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. This is the word of our Lord. It's spoken about already, Memorial Day, and we think about our country, we think about its history, we think about the sacrifice of others. And on a day like this, we especially might think about the question, what's, what's going to happen to our country? Boy, we have so many different things that are in upheaval in our land and around the world. Well, we right now have the war in Ukraine. We have the forces of Russia and China and uh, all the other countries in the world that are sort of reposturing right now, Iran and other places. They're looking uh, to this country or that country. They're looking to make new alliances. What about the future of the dollar? What about... Uh, all these other things happening internally in our country. Uh, what about racism? And what about the economy? And what's going to happen with all this inflation? What's going to happen to our country? Well, I hope that we don't forget in this conversation the Lord. When it comes to blessing and when it comes to uh, disastrous things, destruction happening, always it goes back to the Lord. Hmm? And the Lord wants us as individuals, the Lord wants us as a country to repent of our sins, to look to him for life and for salvation in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. You know, on a day like this, many people are going to say, God bless America. And, well, we like to hear that. That's a popular thing to say. But so often when people say that, they live like a heathen. <laughs> they have no regard for the Word of God in their lives. They have no regard for the teachings of Holy Scripture. They've turned their back on those teachings, and then somehow they implore the Almighty, God bless America and do wonderful things for our country. No, no, no. A reminder, huh, that the Lord is looking at our hearts. Have we repented of our sins? Just because it's popular in this age of diversity to believe this or that doesn't mean it's right. God speaks very clearly in his word in so many different areas. Why should God bless hypocrisy in our midst? We want to be right with the Lord. It starts with us as individuals that we look to our Lord, we hear his word, we consider his commandments, we consider the different ways he would have us to live and to uh, change our life when necessary, to receive his forgiveness, and especially then to serve our Lord. God bless America. And we realize the Lord is the one who brings blessing and the Lord alone.